I'm glad the troopers are smart enough not to trample everything. Oh, you here to work? I think I have an extra shovel around here somewhere. Well, crops aren't doing so well. I'm thinking it might be something in the water. The pump station is pretty run down. You could go take a look around the place, see if you find anything strange going on. What do you say? Thanks. That's great. I should get back to work now. See you around.
trouble.
Uh oh. Figure it'd have more buttons and dials and stuff, you know? Oh well, it's still the electronic equivalent of a disease from Gamora. Sorry, I don't have time to talk right now. Talk to Trent. He might be able to help you out. The mazes can't grow crops if they don't give us the water. I'm not a recruitment officer. You want to join the army? I'm sure someone at McCarran can point you in the right direction. 
Impressive, aren't they? You don't see anything like this outside of NCR territory, that's for sure. We get the water, clean water, pumped in from Lake Mead. If you follow the big pipes, they'll take you all the way to the lake. A lot of the crops grown here support the various NCR camps in the region. McCarran, Goff, and Forlorn Hope, to name a few. We can't have wastelanders popping in here for a free meal, so my squad and I are assigned to keep things from going to hell. Carry on. Howdy. Something I can help you with? Sure do. Came from the hub on account of the Thaler Act. Farming's decent work, but the whole thing's a bum deal. Something the politicians back in Shady Sands came up with. They pay us to move here and farm the land. They even protect the fields. Bad soil and ration water. It's to be expected around here, but the rationing's off. Worst part is NCR won't admit it. Pretty hard to meet their crop quotas with 20% less water than we're supposed to be getting. Not that OSI cares about any of this. They're part of the deal, the Thaler Act. We work the fields while they protect the crops and the water. A lot of folks come to New Vegas and lose everything in free side of the strip. They get hungry, desperate, and try to take our hard work. Much as I sympathize, their theft would put me in a bad spot. I got a crop quota to me. Everything I can. Farmers out here don't have the luxury of being picky. I get by mostly on maize and tobacco. Can do. Adios. Sorry, I don't have time to talk right now. Talk to Trent. He might be able to help you out.
What do you want? I thought I told you to stay the hell out of here. Fine, I'll see that she's paid. Crimson Caravan always fulfills their contractual obligations to the letter. Now I assume there's nothing more, so I trust you can see yourself to the door. Over here. Morning. Welcome back. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, 
once out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave outpost. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. The quality of the Gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. Thank you. Was there something else? It's been a pleasure. Veronica, I hope... I brought you a present. We found a gun that disables power armor. One of these could defeat the whole Brotherhood. We have to stop limiting our focus to military technology. It won't save us. That could be the only one of its kind. That's not the point. Technology won't win our wars. We need numbers, new recruits. What does the Codex say? A bunch of closed-minded bullshit. We do not help them or let them in. But... We keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance, for me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll die out. I know. Come on, I can't listen to this anymore. He wouldn't listen. The truth was right there staring him in the face. How could he not listen? I see that now. I thought I knew him better than that, but it was like talking to a stranger. How can I help them when they won't accept it? It wouldn't matter. The Elder has final say. The hell of it is he's one of our most progressive members. If I can't get him to agree, it's hopeless. I... I don't know if I can stay. Maybe it'd be better for everyone if I left. Spent my life... somewhere else. 
Work with the followers of the Apocalypse, maybe. Put my knowledge to some good use. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do whatever I can until it comes to a slow or sudden end. Not even a hint, huh? Jeez, I really am all alone on this one. I guess I'll stay. If I left, there wouldn't be any coming back. It might be something I'd instantly regret. Things are gonna get harder for the Brotherhood before they get easier. I should support them in whatever way I can. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all this, and some fresh air would do me some good right about now. What's up? See We heard Veronica talking with the Elder. We won't stand for this. Hmm. She'd be doing a greater service by carrying out her duties and not trying to undermine the Elder's authority. This had better be the last time her loyalty falters. You've been warned. We heard Veronica talking with the Elder. We won't stand for this. Hmm. This had better be the... God. I should get used to this, I guess. People get desperate. They turn on each other. First thing to go is trust. I don't think it's ever gonna be the same for me in there. Knowing no matter what I do, it's gonna end badly. But they're all I have. Yeah, I've got the rest of my life to help them out. I could spare a little while to see things through with you. Good idea. How may I assist you? After the battle at Helios 1, some people were worried about the NCR coming after us. This bunker is secure.
You're the one with that robot. I was hoping you'd bring him my way. Pretty impressive piece of hardware. I can't say that I've seen anything quite like him before. Really? What kind of logs? What kind of data does he have on it? Did... did you say Poseidon energy? I've been researching some Poseidon projects here. Do you think you could leave your robot with me for a few days? I have some materials that I can use to upgrade his armor while he's here. Okay, but I'd really like to take a look at him. Remember, I'll be able to give his armor some extra plating while I've got him here. You're being watched, so don't get any ideas. The loss of Helios was terrible, but this bunker is a wonder of its own. Only a few people get to venture outside, usually to trade for food. <laughs> 